yes, it's been a while. I've had the flu, so I haven't posted anything for quite some time. But today, we're going to have a look at the age-old argument between uh, asphalt and concrete. So, nice new concrete section here, less than six months old. Let's just ignore this bit and go on to the asphalt. Now, this is old, old stuff. And you can see over time, it's all way in its pothole, but it definitely needs replacing. And it's not super comfortable anymore. But up ahead, there's a couple of kilometres of concrete shared path. Now, the interesting thing about this is it's right along here before I got the flu, and uh, there was a bloke on a kind of yellow tractor, and, it, and this thing had a, uh, like a grinding disc on it, and he was using this disc to smooth out the junctions between each concrete slab. So it starts here. Now, you might be able to see this kind of pale section across there at that join. So it's where there was a bit of a, uh, the slabs had obviously shifted, and there was a bit of a drop, or whatever you want to call it, a lip. And uh, he just spent a couple of days driving along here, grinding all those uh, imperfections out. Now, I don't know how long this has been here, 20 years, 30 years, got no idea. But he had to do an awful lot of them. I haven't counted all the joints that he had to fix. But trust me, from here into uh, CBD, there's a lot of these pale patches across these joints. Like I said, I saw him a couple of days in a row, working his way uh, through them. So, look, that's certainly a way to extend the life of a path like this. It's not perfect. I can tell you it's riding along here now. There's a lot of other joints which could have done with uh, the treatment. They're not as bad as uh, uh, what it was like before. They've obviously, I guess, rated it into really bad, you know, okay, a little bit bumpy and okay. And they've probably just attacked the ones which were uh, very poor condition and left the mediocre ones alone. Because just riding along here, I can, you know, still about every third uh, joint, you're getting a bit of a boink, boink as I go over it. Um, so look, this is one reason why, personally, I prefer asphalt. And I had a look at the Austroads guides for building parts like this. And the only reason they really gave for using concrete was where there's a risk of scouring. So, yeah, okay, we'll decide a bit of a bit of water here. Now, if that uh, uh, flooded on a regular basis and there's fast moving water running across this path every year, so every winter, uh, you know, if we had monsoon rain or something down here, then yeah, it makes sense to build out of concrete because apparently it doesn't uh, get affected by scouring as much as asphalt does. But I suspect in a lot of cases where they're using concrete, that's actually not an issue. And I think the reason they use concrete around here is more because we've always used concrete. We know who the concrete contractors are. We know the price per you know square meter or whatever for laying concrete. It's easy for us to do our calculations. Um, we don't have to bring in any specialized kit for doing just uh, like a three meter wide path as opposed to a road, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, I think that's why uh, some councils um, stick to using uh, what they know rather than what's best for cyclists because certainly from a, from a comfort perspective, you know, this, this path isn't the best. But look, at least they've tried to improve it, which is uh, more than what a lot of like, councils have done, particularly the Cooks River. Now, I haven't ridden on there for quite some time, but last time I did, there were some terrible drops in some sections between uh, slabs, and uh, you, know, you, you really went over them with a significant thumb. Anyway, I think I shall turn around here. That's probably enough of that. Um, but look, you know, what do you think of this idea of extending the, uh, the life of these paths by doing a bit of grinding like this? Um, would they have been better off just building it out of asphalt in the first place, rather than having to come and uh, do this kind of band-aid work, um, you know, every couple of decades? Uh, what's more comfortable for you? And now that you know about the scouring uh, issue, yes, you know, uh, certainly some paths alongside rivers, etc., need to be built out of concrete. But why are paths that are not subject to scouring 
built out of concrete when they don't have to be. There you go. Catch you later.